Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. If for some reason we can't install the vSphere client, we can use vSphere Web Access to do some basic administration. To do that, we can just open up a web browser like Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go to HTTPS colon slash slash the name of our vCenter server. So vCenter 01.itdvds.local slash UI. And the slash UI is important. That's what gets you to vSphere Web Access. I'll go ahead and click continue to the SSL warning. This brings us to a login screen. We're going to log in with the same username and password that we would use with the vSphere client. So I'll go ahead and type in ITDVDs backslash administrator and my password. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And here it is. Uh, if I had hosts or clusters or virtual machines, uh, I could expand them out, view them here. I could actually stop and start virtual machines. And we'll see this all later on. But really, I just want to show you it, there is another way to access your vCenter server. And you could also view alarms, tasks, and events. Now this is good for quick access to do some very quick administration. But again, a lot of features aren't available with web access. And for everyday administration, you're going to want to use the vSphere client.